Hello everyone, welcome to Fiora. I was going to record World of Warships today, and then I realized, oh right, World of Warships is Saturday. I don't have anything for World of Warships right now. Uh, I'll have to, I will be playing matches tomorrow, and then live stream will start when Klaus gets on, and I will be playing then. In the meantime, we have Armored Warfare with the Ramka 99. I'm not quite sure why the video is slightly cut off. Um, I didn't quite understand what was going on with that. But uh, we are going to be driving up here and hopefully delivering. Alright, so this thing is an AFV with a main battle tank hull. And as you can see from the rate of fire of these twin 30mm cannons, absolutely devastating if you can get on a target. It also has, not only does it have the T90 hull armor, but it has these massive. ERA plates. Look at those plates on the side. Those massive, extremely thick and powerful reactive armor plates that just flat out stop rounds. Now the defect of course being that they can shoot the turret. They only do partial damage for shooting the turret, but they can shoot the turret all day long. A lot of people don't know how to deal with a Ramka 99. And we're going to see this thing in action both in PvP and PvE today. Again, I'm sorry the edges kind of got cut off for this one. Um, something went wrong with Fraps when I was recording it. And it's a live recording. I can't just like play a replay. They haven't turned on the replay system. They haven't given us a replay system yet for Armored Warfare. Hello, how are you? I will totally spray you down. I'm using HEI right now, and I probably should have switched to armor piercing against the side of that uh, chieftain and against the Bell Gillette Panzer 57. But I'm able to just poke up, and now I'm going to make a run on the Arate. Right up in his rear, just driving through. They hit me, the ERA plates fire, I don't care. LOL. <laughs> you need to shoot it in the turret? or the driver's hatch on the front of the tank. Those are the only two real options for shooting this tank. That triple thick, uh, you'll notice on the back of the tank there are triple thick, um, what are they called, cage armor, actually stop Sabo rounds if they're not flat on. And I'm making another run right on the Chieftain. Oh, I'm going to kill the Arte first. He's dead. Chieftain eating my 30 mil guns and I run out and I just run behind and I keep going triple thick stops bullets cold Chieftain's dead moving on and by the way by the way those rear those rear plates back there don't go away when you uh now he did shoot now he did actually shoot my driver's port which I give him credit that was a full tr penetration pan on the driver's port uh, but those those rear cage armor plating that doesn't go away when you uh when you shoot it and the Centauro bounces me as I pound him into the ground And this was recorded today. This was not recorded in EA4. This is EA5 Ramka footage of me just going around. And yes, I'm spamming the HEI because it is still effective against the sides and thinly armored portions. And it just racks it up. And they are capping our base. I have achieved my third kill. The left side of my tank is missing a couple, of, is missing the two rear ERA plates, and I know this. And ow, I blow my track and slide. Oh my god, this tank! It just can't, you, it breaks its tracks, and it's like, nope, I'm gonna go another 50 meters! I'm not even gonna spin out, I'm just gonna keep going forward. And it's an AFV, as you can see, I'm spotting those guys, and I'm not being spotted back. It's an AFV! This is an armored fighting vehicle. 
And I really need to get us a reset right now. I don't think we have a chance of winning though, but I'm gonna fire some rounds and there it is. Full reset. Pounding away at the Challenger with HEI. I'm only doing a... I occasionally get a 27 pointer. I'm being shot by another AFV. Um, Challenger finally hits me and damages me. Damages the loader. Then I just come on up over. And I ignore the Challenger and I go after the Centauro. And oh crap, I forgot to reload. But I'm bouncing the shells. I am bouncing them left, right, and sideways. Oh, finally got a pin. Letting the Centauro have my AP rounds. He's dead. Firing at the Fox. Almost got him, almost got him. Oh, I want one more kill before I'm dead. Let me have it. Let me have it. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh. Ramka 99, ladies and gentlemen. Ramka 99. When the game goes open beta, first tank I'm going to grind to tier 8. This thing. Oh my god. I also like the cinematic transitions. Now you guys will be getting your early access development vlog um, probably Saturday. Along with World of Warships and... Uh, well no, you'll get it Sunday. Because I want to get an Alien Isolation video out. And Gein's going to be here to help me get that out. Ugh. This was on the Times 2 weekend. But just... Ramka 99. Ramka 99. I love this machine. You just go at people. And it's so much fun. Now they can shoot you in the turret for partial damage. But... I'm okay with that. And even without the Times 2 boost, I would have actually still made credits on the defeat. Now the problem, of course, being that this thing's going to give you a terrible accuracy rating because 320 shells fired, 167 actually did damage. But, mmm. Mmm. Oh no, this is still EA4. I have an EA5 video of this too. We're going to do the EA4 one first. Uh, and I was still doing damage with HEI in the uh, EA5. I'm sorry, I got the videos confused. My bad! But I am saving an EA5 video so we can do a uh, we can do a compare and contrast between the EA4 and EA5 version of the uh, of the AFV small caliber guns. Enemy has support disabled. Black company. I thought I played the EA5 one for you guys. I should have recognized that it wasn't the one I played today. Early this morning before my nine hour live stream for you guys. Anyway. We're going to do some PvE. I've got four main battle tanks with me. A Leo 2, an Arate, a Challenger, and a Leopard 2. A, a five, Leo A5, excuse me. And Armored Warfare has announced Tier 10. 9 and 10. I disapprove. You don't need it. Your Tier 8 max is is perfect. You just need to move those other tanks into, tier, into, tier, into the other tiers. Hello, Weasel. I'm going right at you. You done walked into the wrong neighborhood. Now I'm going to take some hits for this. Same clip. Almost clipped out the Bradley and the Weasel if I would have just not hit, if I would have just hit two more shots. Oh, I've run into another Bradley. I've taken a bunch of damage for what I'm doing. And I am just, I am pounding him. Gotta reload. Good night, Mr. Bradley. I'm going to take some more hits real quick, too. The AI seems to be able to hit this thing a lot better than the players. I don't know why that is, but the AI seems to be able to hit this thing a lot more and a lot harder than most of the player base. Two seconds. One second. Fire away! And it's, it's, it's just this little 30 mil auto cannon just pounding things into oblivion. It's twin 30 mil, that's all it is, is. It's two 30 mil auto cannons, and it's just... It is a balanced tank. 
You can shoot it in the turret for half damage. You can, once the ERA plates on the side are blown off, you can shoot through the side armor just like a T90 side armor because it is a T90 hull. I'm asking our, our, our MBTs if they're going to take the lead here because I have just taken a beating and they're mostly, you know, pretty good off. Uh, my ERA plates are missing on both sides. So there's no more runs. There's the ERA plates have been blown off. I can't I can't do assault runs, especially with only 300 health. But I can wail away on this artillery here to nothing. And hello, Mister. Oh, just look at that. A hundred eleven hundred seventeen damage like that <laughs> on that poor su super patent. All right, what are we gonna do, boys and girls? What are we gonna do? If you go down an AFV line, you thought the weasel was a demon. If the weasel's a demon, this is a lord of the pit. This is like Satan itself has just come around the corner to eat your babies. Because in the time that Arate aimed, I issued 600 damage. I've also now, now this is going to be kind of interesting. From now on, anytime I want to cuss, I'm going to say crap baskets. Apparently it's at the request of, of some, of, of a bunch of people that I, I don't cuss as much. Fine, if I'm going to cuss, I'm going to say crap basket or crap baskets or mother crap basket. If I'm really just absolutely pissed. Om nom 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 nom. I have like this little sliver of him I was shooting. And just banging away at it. Again, I'm sorry it's a little cut off. I don't know. It's something with fraps. It's something with the original video. And as soon as we have a replay system, that won't happen any, anymore. That's for sure. But, oh. It's also the aspect ratio of this monitor. I need to get a monitor a little better. Oh my god, critical hits. All of them critical. Oh, oh, Oh crap, Vasquez! He just got wasted with pure critical hit! Yeah, the bright yellow text, that's criticals. And every one of those shots, critical hit. I take another hit, I don't really care, I'm trying to kill this guy, he's dead. I've issued a thousand more, over a thousand more damage, and now I've backed up to reload. I like the damage counter. It tells you how much damage you've issued with the current uh, volley of of uh, auto cannon rounds. BMP two is just gonna take everything I have, and this is how you play this tank in PVE. You just pick a target and you go, "You're mine now," and it dies. There's something shooting at me from over here. As you can see, it's bouncing because it's auto cannon rounds. Auto cannon rounds are completely ineffective against the front and side of this tank, and it is a Bradley who's dead. Superior Bradley, dead. Didn't do any damage to me. They can cap. I'm gonna go look for more targets. <laughs> Twelve kills. I have. The rest of the team has 8. I have 12 kills right now. This machine is absolutely a monstrosity of a... It's the only AFV I have gotten in so far that I can classify a brawler. And it truly is. Like, you look up and you thought the weasel was a demon. You see this thing and you go, Satan has been summoned! We must panic. It truly is. 10,000 damage. Twice the damage of any other of the main battle tanks here. 12 kills. 5 assists. 5, 1,300 assist damage. Oh. And it's an AFV. It has excellent spotting range. Excellent camo. But again, the weakness is once the ERA has been blown off, you just... Your, your massive armor that you had at the start of the match is gone. So you get one good run. And after that, you have to watch what you're doing for fear they're going to, you know, penetrate you. 
Also, the turret is easily penetratable, but only for partial damage. But still... Uh, I love this thing. It is so much fun. And this is going to be the first vehicle I grind to get because the Ramka 99... It's awesome. And it comes with the missiles. You guys didn't even see me fire the missiles. But sadly, that is the end of our video today. Um, I will be on World of Warships later this evening with Klaus. And uh, I will be driving around in hopefully some Tier 5 warships finally. But in the meantime, uh, this is Fiora officially signing off for right now. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed the Ram the introduction to the Ramka 99. Again, I am going to be doing an EA5 version of the Ramka 99 video for you guys to see after it's been modified, which it's it's still an amazing vehicle. It's amazing. But in the meantime, check out these armor war other armor warfare videos. Check out the patronage page. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Fiora officially signing off. Bye bye guys. Oh, there's that Abrams. And I go for the hatch. Minor damage. He returns fire and gets a full 10. I return fire and penetrate the turret ring. Damaging his turret, killing his commander. I'm pretty sure he's going to use his first aid and his repair kit on those. I aim for his ring again. Ring his ring and destroy his turret outright. And then the other Abram shows up and bounces me. And I bounce back. The gun on the Abrams really truly is subpar. Also, the gunner's sight and... That didn't. Finally. Six rounds. Finally get a hit. I see a little light tank. Nope, no shot. And I now know that I am within spotting range of that BMP. They also, this entire also, as you can see, doesn't have the most gun elevation. So while sitting here on the side of this hill, I am having a lot of trouble actually bringing the gun to bear. And our Leopard 2 AV was just taken out by enemy fire. My team has been demolished. This is why PvP is not fun in Armored Warfare, is because I've done well. I've already exceeded my hit points in damage.